Hello, today we're going to be looking at these two radios, the Baofeng DM5R and the Baofeng DM5R Plus. And I've decided to do this video because it seems like I know something that nobody else on the entire internet, not even the people selling these radios, seems to know. And that is what the radios can and cannot do and what the radios actually are. So let's get to it. Firstly, let's address the issue. Is the Baofeng DM5 are really that bad? No, it's not really that bad. Um, people have just been missold to radio and been completely misinformed. And that's why they're giving it bad reviews, because they don't know what the radio actually does. So what is the Baofeng DM5R? It's a DMR radio, in inverted commas. And I put it in inverted commas because it's not really a tier 1 radio, and it's not really a tier 2 radio either. It's some kind of hybrid. Um, it doesn't talk to other DMR radios because of the vocoder. It's got some unknown vocoder in which is not compatible with normal DMR radios. It doesn't work properly on repeaters either, so this radio is not really all that useful unless you only want to talk to other DM5Rs. What tier is it? Because everybody on the entire internet is wrong about this. Nobody seems to know. Everyone's calling it tier 1 or tier 2 or whatever. So I've put on the screen a list of the specifications that a DMR tier 1 radio should meet and the specifications that a DMR tier 2 radio should meet. And let's go through these. The DM5R. Is it PMR446 band only? Well no, it covers the whole of VHF and UHF. Does it have a limited power output of 0.5 watts? No, it's a 5 watt radio. Does it have a fixed non-removable antenna? I think you already know the answer, that's a no as well. Is it simplex only? Yes, it is simplex only. And it may use continuous transmission mode, it's not a TDMA radio. Tier 2, it must do TDMA? Well it doesn't, so it doesn't meet that one. It must work on repeaters properly, uh, it doesn't do that one either. So as you can see it's not a tier 1 radio and it's not a tier 2 radio either. So let's talk about the DM5R Plus. What's the DM5R Plus? It's a software upgraded version of the DM5R. It's also not proper tier 1 or tier 2. And what the upgrade has done basically is it's changed the vocoder inside the radio. So now this radio can talk to other DMR radios. But the radio still cannot use repeaters. This is a hardware issue, and it will not be changed in this radio, probably ever. Now this is the same page again, but for the DM5R Plus, as you can see, nothing has changed. All of these issues still exist on the DM5R Plus. The only thing that's different is the vocoder. Why I've been telling people not to buy these radios? Well, when most people buy a DMR radio, most of the time they want to be able to talk on the amateur DMR radio networks and people have been buying this radio or these radios and not being able to use repeaters or being able to use repeaters and blocking the other time slot and annoying everyone else so that's basically why I've been telling people don't buy these radios but this radio actually might be suitable for some people if you want to listen to repeaters without talking on them on VHF and UHF then the DM5R Plus is suitable for that. If you want to talk on simplex only on VHF and UHF with other DMR users then the DM5R Plus is also suitable for that. Now let's have a look at some of the misinformation I've seen online about this because there's been an awful lot of it. We've already addressed that this radio is not tier 1 and it's also not tier 2. So here's one. Have a look at this review by someone that's posted on Radiolity.com. Up to 40% power savings. Although this person doesn't think it's reaching 40%, well actually it won't be at all because this radio doesn't do TDMA. And TDMA is what gives the 40% power savings for most DMR radios because when the transmitter turns off 
in TDMA, that's where the power is saved. So this radio, well, it wouldn't have 25% either, as this person thinks, it, it would have zero, because it doesn't do TDMA. This one's bad, this radio is motor turbo tier 1. And what's even worse is that this claim was posted on one of the websites of one of the retailers that's selling this radio. Surely you should know your product well enough to know that it's not a motor turbo tier 1 radio. There are just so many problems with this piece of information. Firstly, Motorola makes motor turbo radios. No one else does. This is a Baofeng radio, not a Motorola radio, therefore it's not a motor turbo radio. Secondly, Motorola do not make DMR tier 1 products, so there is no such thing as motor turbo tier 1. And finally, this is not even a DMR tier 1 radio. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's have a quick recap. If you're looking to buy either of these radios, remember this, the DM5R is only good for talking to other DM5Rs. The DM5R Plus is good for listening to repeaters and talking to other DMR users, but on simplex only. Just make sure you don't transmit onto repeaters with this radio. And if you do want to buy either of these radios, then the Baofeng DM5R is currently selling for $60 on Amazon and the DM5R Plus, which is probably the one you'll be buying if you want to buy one of these radios, is selling for $80 and I'll put the links for these both in the description. So if you're a new viewer to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, don't touch the subscribe button because that will unsubscribe you. But do touch the thumbs up button because I want your likes. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.